the star athlete of the year, but a win right here over Fon Zendong would make the others believers as well. Fon Zendong to start this best of seven. One left. Love two. So Fan Zhendong looked quite fired up yesterday when he played against Xu Xin to knock him out of the tournament. A four to one victory after all. Love three. The quality of counter loop that Fan Zhendong was bringing in. Timo's going to have to have the racket up a little bit. We'll see. It's tough if it's really closed means even more pressure and likelihood to catch the edge of the racket. Soft skinny ball off the edge of the table, Timo's first point. Fang Zhendong quite popular throughout China and the world. Timo Bull, arguably the most popular player on the planet. Lest you ask women in China, Zhang Jiku. 4-1. So the spin game and the control game of Timo Bull are going to be big factors out here. <laughs> nice start to the point, but Fan Zhendong not phased. One five. Now one thing that has made Timo so effective against the top Chinese players for the last decade and more, decade and change, is that his strokes are very short and his timing catches the ball early on the rise. Also such variety in shots. Not so traditional in his technique. Let's one, five. <laughs> one, six. Deep push effective for Fan Zhendong. Slow start for Timo, but we've seen him come back from down 1-3. We've seen him down 4-10 in game seven against Ling Gao Yuan. Oh, burned right back. Timo with the big opening backhand and right down the line, Fan Zhendong just snaps it back. Just hopping around like a boxer out there, keeping his energy up. This takes a lot for Timo to stay in there for all these big shots in the blocking game, just a step and a half behind Seven, the table, two. maybe two. Nice counter here, a little bit of change of trajectory. Good spinnier shot coming back from Timo. Four, seven. Wow, reverse pendulum short with topspin. To the short side of the table, nonetheless. Think about how hard that is to do. Short serves the top spin. Timo, what's going on in that brain? Whatever it is, it's worked several points in a row. Three, if I'm not mistaken. He's right back in it. Second towel break of the game. Seven, five. If this starts sinking in, getting under the skin of Fan Zhendong, he's going to get nervous. He's going to get tense. Just reminds you that anything is possible with Timo Bull. Eight, ah, the flip just off the top of the net and out. He's so clever though, he always has something new, always looking for an answer. This receive doesn't help him out. It wasn't a terrible receive, it's just Fan Zhendong is so strong on the attack. Fan Zhendong quickly recognizes he has to take, take it quickly over the table. Five, and another ten. one, five game points for Fan Zhendong. A little bit of a run for Timo in the middle here. Second serve against game point. Oh, the flip surprise. Timo just bends that wrist back at the last moment. Tough to tell where he's going to go. Six. 
So game point saved. Oh, patiently played from Timo and an even better shot right there. Countered back right behind Timo for this one more time. Heavy spin relatively low about net height. Fan Zhendong not bothered. Game one, Fan Zhendong takes it. We'll be back for game two right after this. Second game, ball to serve, level. So Timo Bowl now with the serve after dropping the first game six points to 11. Has his work cut out. Love one. And this is going to be tough. Timo from behind the table by two steps. Fan Zhendong so fast and powerful. While Timo might be wiser and more clever than he was in 2005, he said physically he's not in the same shape, not as fast as he was. Clever idea, but just long. Two left. Again, pushed back behind the table. The opening, the big shot opening there was Timo's. Once Fan Zhendong brings out the gunpowder, it's so tough to stop him. For Three example. Left. Now this is not what Timo wants clearly. Starting to think about the score hypothetically, if there'd be exhibition points later, how much the crowd would love it, but he backed off almost like it was an exhibition point early on here in game two. One, not four. typically a recipe for success, but that underspin serve reverse pendulum is so deceptive. We've seen many players drop it, dump it into the net. One. That second attack, though, is going to be very difficult for Timo. Just hasn't quite figured out what it's going to take to get in this rally long. So the Chinese supporters here come from far and wide to see their national team players. Fan Zhendong has the country behind him, even all the way out here in Kazakhstan. 5-2. It was like a backhand chop to receive. There it was. And right into the point. Soft and spinny while Fan Zhendong is away. These are spectacular points. When do you see Fan Zhendong fishing, then lobbing? Timo way out wide, and a sky lob doesn't come down. Four to five. Timo right back in. And he's got the crowd behind him as well. But it's not clear again, a lot of Fang Zhendong fans here. The Chinese flag, wherever table tennis is, can be seen. Six, four. It's tough, Timo picks up some steam again. Starts to make his comeback, but needs to continue. One, one, I think, would put some pressure on Fang Zhendong. He knows he's dealing with the genius within the sport. 
A legend who's taken down his teammates. And there was the cheerleader himself. Every group needs someone to start the passion to inspire the others. Both of these players have inspired, inspired <laughs> millions of players around the world. Four, eight. So tough here, three in a row for Fang Zhendong. Similar to the last game, Timo has a streak here and then finds himself on the losing side of a few points from Fang Zhendong and he's back out in front. Fang Zhendong that is. Four, nine. It's a little bit late to get in for that forehand flip. If Timo looks like he's sore. He probably is. I mean, he's just playing so much table tennis. Ten, four. Six game points. Fan Zhendong has turned this train around. Not that last one. So much power from behind the table. 11 to four, Fan Zhendong takes it. With points to spare. Just a beauty to watch Fan Zhendong play right now. So we'll be back. It's 2-0 for Fan Zhendong versus Timo Bull. The match you want to watch. Game three coming up after this. So back for game number three, the fans split. Third game, a lot of Kazakh fans serve. here Love cheering all. for Timo Bull. Around the world, Timo is a hero to many. Fang Zhendong, as strong as he is, still has many years, arguably, till his peak. Tough to imagine him improving much. Love one. But you know, that's the beauty of the future. You see things that were unimaginable before. Who would have ever thought that table tennis would get to this level of play, that we'd see such powerful, fast players out here, like Fan Zhendong. One all. Clever idea from Timo. His touch is really good over the table, keeps it short. He misses the opportunity on the fourth ball. rotation on that serve when you can see the label clearly from up here on your TV screen or whatever you're watching on. That means Fan Zhendong is going to have to deal with very little, doesn't have spin coming in. Ahead by one point once again, Timo is going to be fighting two, for three. every point here. Down 0-3 against world number two, Fan Zhendong. It's not a place to be. Remember, 16 years between them. Timo Bull, 36 years older than 20-year-old Fan Zhendong. Good placement, nice change of pace as well. Not a rocket backhand, but quick enough to get out. And look at that bounce, how low it stays. Extra spin, Timo can generate a lot of spin. Now, one thing that the Chinese national team does quite well is when there's a player who's a serious threat, they can find a practice partner, find people to emulate the game, learn the strokes. Kong Lung Hui eventually, or essentially anyway, playing the same game as Waldner. 
Big step around commitment there. He's gonna say that Timo Bowles game we just haven't seen emulate. Four three. You'd have to spend a lifetime learning his strokes. A little bit different, a bit unique. And Timo back up by two. Good Three, friend of mine five. came into table tennis watching Timo Bowl on YouTube all the time, and his game is sort of similar, but we're not talking about Chinese national team level. Inside out forehand, Fang Zhendong gets so low. I know, right? It's unbelievable. Shaking your head out there like, no, nah, I didn't just see that. I'm dreaming. How can you hit it that hard and take topspin off it as well to play some side spin on that ball? The margin for error is just unimaginable. Five ball. Timo's touch. Keeps it near the back edge, but the lead disintegrates. This is the first time that I can recall Timo being in the lead by a few points midway through the game, and now tied up. That's the aggression. Gu Yu Ting looked quite the same. Third ball over the table. He comes in to take advantage. Six, five. So if you hear the chanting and it sounds like Five, Dima, seven. Timo, in this region of the world, the O often sounds a bit like an A, like Kirill Garasimenko around the world, but here, Garasimenko. So that's why it might sound like when they're chanting Timo a bit like Dima. Six, seven. Good opportunity here. Not to win the point outright, but still get in with a quality loop. Timo's spin variation can be tough to counter sometimes. I mean, for most people, all the time. For Fan Zhendong, from time to time. Still Timo leading by one. And he saves it, the grunt for that wide forehand. Timo extending the racket. Do this one more time. Eight, wow. Six. And then fishes it back deep to the backhand corner, sets himself up to cover the table. Oh, that one, that's a shame. After all that work, Timo. You don't want to see the point end this way no Eight, matter who seven. wins it. He saves some big shots and then the fishing. That's just how much pressure there is to keep it deep on the table because Fan Zhendong will control completely if you let him any closer to the net. Right down the middle, Timo saves it. Racket head straight up. Chinese fans watching, feeling some stress right now, but must be excited knowing I don't know if excited is the perfect term. I'm sure their hearts are beating, knowing that Timo has beaten Ma Long recently, Lin Gao Yuan twice recently. Eight, nine. The receive was quite impressive, the fastest shot early on. Fan Zhendong not bothered by it. Gets it right back, plays the middle. Wasn't sure where Timo was going to go with it. Was just thinking about him receiving a wide one around the net. And it comes long. It's Timo with two game points here. And he's got the serves on his side. That reverse pendulum with underspin got an outright point once before. Reverse pendulum short to the backhand side of the table with light topspin got a point. What's it going to be? I wouldn't be surprised to see a reverse pendulum with some underspin. 
Let's goes traditional ben pendulum, takes. breaks it up. Light rotation and the follow-up third ball attack from Timo. He takes the game, he's on the board. One to two down, but the match is just starting to heat up. Game number four coming up right after this. So here we are, game number four. Timo Bowl loses games number one and two, six and four respectively, and comes back to win game three after an 11-4 loss. Four what a game, turn of events here. Level. So 21 points so far for Timo and 30 for Fong Zendong, but it's not about who scores more points, it's about who wins four games. Very focused, Fong Zendong handles the low ball, Love spinning. One. Timo can spin it up like that from under the table. A lot of people are going to have trouble countering. Two left. Clever idea, but the long push just too long. Three left. It's interesting when you think about our place in time right now, watching Timo Bowl versus Fang Zhendong. These are two generations. I don't think anyone likes to think about a time where Timo Bull's not playing table tennis. He's looking great right now. Plans to be playing for a long time. But Fang Zhendong, you have to imagine. Well, who knows? Just based on the amount of years you can play for the Chinese national team versus playing for Germany. We will see. Feel like it's such a privilege Let's to see Timo play. Service higher. warning. Ooh, Love, oh. Interesting. Timo Love handles that four. very well. Said higher toss. One, Timo is unbelievably accommodating. They say higher toss. He says okay. Comes back with a toss three feet from the palm of his hand and earns the third ball to win the point outright. Doesn't seem to hurt his chances. Four, two. two serves in a row. Maybe Timo Bull just needs a few more service warnings. Didn't seem to help out Fan Zhendong. But not just the privilege of watching Timo, Fan Zhendong as well. The world is wondering, the world is waiting to see if he will crush all previous records. Again, he's only 20 years old. Five, two. This is the game. Turning point, Timo's been down 1-3 before and come back several times. Quality block stays on top, accelerates with a bit of topspin. A little bit different than the Chinese, but a similar idea for sure. His tactics though, tactics are right, the technique. It's just gotta be difficult for Fan Zhendong. He doesn't have a practice partner that's like Timo. Oh, edge of the table, Fan Zhendong sneaks it down the line. Mostly top of the table. You can see the bounce there, kicking off to the side. Whoa, reaction from Timo again. I'd love to see this point one more time. Six, four. Thank you very much. We don't get the early part either way. Recovery from Timo to keep it in play, and Fan Zhendong gives one more hard shot back on the run. Seven, four. Tough to stop. 
stay on top. Now, Jorg Roskopf knows Timo quite well. And you've got 36-year-old Timo Bull out there on the court. Timeouts are pretty rare. It's understandable that Roskopf would save them for late in the match. Oh, switch to the right hand, but was extended so wide. Four, eight. See this one more time here. It's too fast. Fan Zendong, Timo wasn't able to turn back in time. The body language, you hope that's just disappointment, not an injury. Four, nine. Nine, five. The way he's moving out there, though, it does leave some question. Again, Timo Bull from exhibitions in China to T2 to playing the Bundesliga, Champions League, playing the World Tour more actively this year than we've seen in years. He survives two in a row. Timo just fearless from off the table. There's one. There's the second, the hooking backhand. And then a hooking forehand the other way sends Fan Zendong up on one foot. Swatting backhand attempt. Still a three-point lead for Xiao Kuaizi. Oh, again out of reach. Fan Zendong has been so crafty at that. When Timo's away from the table, he knows he's got to switch hands because there's no chance Six, to get back ten. any other way. Still coming down. Complete opposite side of the table. Like a knee-jerk reaction, Fan Zendong is there with a beautiful answer. Four game points for Fan Zendong on the receive. Seven, ten. But a burning backhand just smokes past. Game point saved, three to go. Another beautiful backhand from Timo. He spins the ball very low to the net. Fang Zendong cautious, when do you see that? Very rarely. Complete corner of the table again. Timo Bull like a superhero, picks a place on the table. If this were a video game, that's exactly where you would tell your player to hit it. Timo tells his body and it goes. Not a coincidence, hard work. Oh, and it's finished. Fan Zendong 11 to 8. After the comeback starts, Fan Zendong turns it on when necessary. Sits up a little bit, and that little bit of side spin, bending it out of reach, pays off. So a 3 to 1 lead, we'll see what happens. Game 5 coming up right after this. Game number five, and the crowd definitely has an opinion here. We've got about half of the place chanting. Yeah, I'm sure it's not half of the place. The more vocal part of the audience, the Chinese fans, Kazakh fans out here supporting Timo, many of them. A bit more fire out here, Timo springing the step. Last one. It's amazing how he can will himself, tired and sore, whatever he is to just push himself a little bit more, play like it's the, math, the last match of his life. I can rest tomorrow, I can rest tonight, but bring it here. 
One all. <laughs> Timo there. Not sure exactly what that expression was, but a very impressive shot nonetheless from Fan Zendong. Covers the ball when it drops right over the net, almost releases the racket. Timo just never gives up, and it gets him so far. Three, one. Although a few rallies, timeout here. This is a good timeout call. Timeout. And it's sort of as I suspected. The relationship with Roscoff in this situation, I think Rossi's going to let Timo call the timeouts. Knows himself quite well, has been playing for a long time. And this is a good timeout. It's still a very recoverable score. We've seen Timo come back from greater depths and deficits. Auf geht's, auf geht's, Timo, he says. So one thing you can imagine is Timo behind the table, as strong as he is, the whole reason he's been successful throughout his career, more than almost anyone outside of China against the Chinese, is that he knows how to stay near the table and take the ball early. Yes, he has a fantastic backhand. Can he depend on it from far away from the table? Not consistently, not against Fan Zhendong. Oh man, that's a beauty. How does he even find that? You couldn't program a ball with GPS to hit this part of the table. Look at Fan Zhendong. Wow. One, five. Right out of the timeout, two points for Fan Zhendong. Tough way to be. Tough to be in Timo's situation right now. The strength of Fan Zhendong. Now it's interesting, Fan Zhendong had one player throughout his career who's been in front of him and has been stopping him. One, six. Timo trying to keep it low, doesn't get the break here. Ma Long is the player I was referring to, of course. And we'll see Ma Long, a new father, beaten by Timo Bull recently, but right now, it's looking tough. Six, two. Not unrecoverable, just tough. Tough hasn't stopped Timo from coming back from down 4-10. So anything is possible. Even things we didn't think were. With Timo, anything is possible. Six, three. All righty, two in a row here. Timo coming back. Now the conversation with Rossi seemed like there might have been some talk about change of pace. Take some confidence to let Fan Zendong take the first attack, but if you can get him taking it late, predict where the ball's going. Oh, no prediction there. Soft and a moment later, it's a snapped backhand. So tough to handle. I really wonder, you know, Fan Zhendong was using a different blade in Sweden. Back edge of the table for Four, Timo. Seven. You could hear it, and any time Timo apologizes. I can't, even, I can't remember any time Timo even made a questionable call. Such a fair sportsman. Fan Zhendong pointing at it immediately as well. Spinny seven, shot five. down the line. I mean, when you talk about integrity, popularity around the world, but Timo's integrity, his moral compass, is just so admirable. This is a big reason he's so popular, not only with fans, but with professional players. Many players would say Timo Boll is their favorite, their role model, their idol. off the top of the net and recovers, no problem. Timo Bull within one point. Wong Hao gonna call timeout? We'll see. Maybe not now, still a few games in the lead. 
T-Mobile has come back from down 1-3. Remember Shuefe in Czech Republic. Inside out forehand almost sends Van Zandong tripping. And the wince, you don't want to see an injury on either side. Van Zandong has pressed himself so hard to get to where he is. And you see the hand on the back. I know fans in China wish him well. Beyond wish him well, love him forever. If memory serves, it was 1-6, Timo was down. And if that's the case, he has scored seven out of the last eight points. Oh, big opportunity here. Timo sets up the point well, surprise serve, and then plays it one more time, surprise location. The step around just off the top of the net falls into a Thor. Tied back up, Fan Zhendong here with the serves. Nine, eight. Good serve, tough break here for Timo. That Chiquita, the banana flick from over the table. Doesn't land and Fan Zhendong in the lead. This time it does, heavy side on that. This is one bending Chiquita out here. A lot more side than the one before. That is so beautiful. Fan Zendong is known for his Chiquita, but Timo just pulling out one of the spinniest side spinny ones I've seen. He's got two serves here, stands boldly and bravely like a statue thinking out his plan. again he winces a little bit with pain seems like there's something in the leg but the combinations here Timo's serve right from the start he doesn't wait to get into it he has a very specific plan and he's got game point the future and he can definitely see the future of this match we're going into game number six wins the game and he's coming into the six down two three he can recover he can recuperate and he can come back let's see what happens game six right after this Back for game number six, Timo methodically cleaning the table. You know, I was thinking about a conversation with Timo recently before our Ask a Pro Anything. Game, board to serve. He said, what are some of your most memorable matches? Some of your favorite matches? He said, well, one of the best I ever played was against Fan Zhendong in Suzhou 2015, even though I lost. Last one. He really just enjoys the game so much right now. Let love one. Right down the middle, the backhand to split the first two points. I'm just shaking my head in disbelief. Two years ago, people were talking about retirement for Timo. Timo has no retirement in mind. None in mind. Not after 2020. Just wants to play as long as he can. And he sure can. Look at this, Fan Zhendong with a spinny, aggressive loop and countered right back like nothing. One, two. The touch sets up, rips through. Barely any follow through. T 
Timo, why are your strokes so short? Well, you know, in the fastest sport in the world, you can't afford a long stroke. Too old. The exact wording was even more humble than that. Working hard here, Fongs and Dong gets that full stroke from the middle of the table. Perfect placement. Fong Zhendong, unless he hits that inside out down the forehand line, manages to find the middle right there. Another great option. Smart play, Timo, unpredictable patterns. So Timo's knowledge for the game, not only can he predict where his opponent is going to hit it so many times, but because of that, he can also predict where his opponent is expecting the ball. This comes with experience, but very focused play. Timo has always been very focused in his practice, his training. It's one of the best pieces of advice he gave to players a long time ago. Four, three. He said practice as hard as if it were the championship. Take your practices very seriously, play focused. Three, this five. one gets away. Surprise spin from Fang Zhendong. A bit of top spin on it. <laughs> there it is, the forehand third ball. The crowd excited to see this go to seven. No matter who wins, a game seven would be a gift. So wide. Another thing that Timo said is with age, he's become much more specific. Six, Tough ball four. to play two from. Falling back, Fang Zhendong forcing the uncomfortable ball, playing it right into the elbow. Specificity goes. That ball was just a bit lukewarm right into the forehand from Fang Zhendong. Nothing too awkward to throw him off. Not a lot of side spin. Fang Zhendong up 7 4. Time for Timo to turn on the boosters here. There you go. Opening shot and then a soft block, shallow on the table. Really just slowing the ball down. You have to be able to think so clearly to make decisions like this. This is not a coincidence for Timo. See where that ball bounced on the table. Leaves the ball out in front of Fon Zhendong. This is something Timo always said about Waldner and many have said how well he used different parts of the table, even just behind the net, changing his depths. Timo's added that to his game for sure. So the timeout here with Wong Hao in the corner for Fan Zhendong. Nice finish there from Wong Hao. I had trouble understanding almost everything he said. Just heard a few words. Quite a quick speaker. Nonetheless, though, you can tell what the ultimate message was. He wants to pump up Fong Zhendong. Wants to make sure that he's confident. Rare to see overconfidence. Maybe one player on the Chinese national team, one or two, has that. Six, seven. And Timo with the high arc and kicking spin shot brings him within one point. If he can continue, I don't know. It's got to be tough for Fang Zhendong coming into a game seven after leading so many times. Oh, a bold serve. Team Bull does his arm flap. We see that a lot. If someone says, you just won Star Athlete of the Year, how do you feel? We see that arm flap as well. What can I say? 
Serve was good, the response even better. Oh, nice. fooled on the reverse pendulum. One thing you can count on is Timo Bowl will not give up. Inside out forehand drags the arm behind and plays it as wide as possible. Seven and nine. He is so loose out here. Look at this ball. To just brush up on the inside of that. Under pressure here. He's got two serves now. What can he make of him? He gave a great serve before, short to the backhand side, and it didn't pay off. Oh, it comes back quickly, and Timo Bull hadn't recovered. So three match points for Fan Zhendong to move on to the men's singles final. Fang Zhendong survives the magic that is Timo Bull. And Xiao Kuaiza will move on to the men's singles final. What an exhale. What a relief to get through. Vengeance for Ma Long. We will see, is it going to be Dima or is it going to be Lin Gao Yuan in the final with Fang Zhendong? What a match from Fang Zhendong throughout. Both players here deserve so much respect for everything they brought out here. A spectacular match. And last point, Timo had the opportunity after saving some big shots, a respectful high five as always. While the eye contact isn't there, you have to imagine it's tough. Barrier coming down for a moment with the excitement. ITTF's own Johnny Cowan will be coming in for an interview. Stick around before we get on to the last semifinal for the women. You can hear some words from Fang Zhendong and we'll see if we get to hear from Timo as well right there on the court, so stay right here. Interview coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, a fantastic semi-final winner, Fan Zhendong from China! Zhendong, playing against Timo Ball. He's been playing very well around the world this year. Were you nervous coming into this match? Uh, 确实，波尔是一名老将嘛，然后跟他也打过很多次，确实今年他的状态非常好。对于我来说，今天也是摆地位置去拼他吧。所以最后可能自己在开局，包括前两局去发挥的不错吧。但是可能后面他靠他的经
Very good. Last question then, Jen Dong. Who would you like to play in the final? Dimitri Ovcharov or Lin Goyan? Uh, I will play well no matter who the opponent is. Fantastic, ladies and gentlemen, Fan Zhendong!